here we are with another attempt at the Bill Russell challenge. The challenge I have not completed before, but today we are going to be using the Dallas Mavericks who are OP in 2K, so maybe we can complete it. Start today is still broken, so I had to simulate the 2020 regular season again. The Lakers won it all, but we're not going to start the challenge till the next season as we did losing the conference finals. Before we get into the rebuild though, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. So before we get into today's Bill Russell challenge video, today's video is sponsored by Frag Pro Shooter, the best shooter game of 2020, which is specifically designed for mobile players with over 30 million plus players the rules are simple destroy the enemy bunkers as quickly as possible once the two bunkers are destroyed you will be able to access the tower and destroy it to win you may be asking how shall we do that well you can collect characters there's over 80 characters to collect in the app all characters have a unique gameplay with specific role and power next we're going to go into your deck and you're going to be able to choose your favorite characters to build your team of five like an nba starting lineup with your own strategy you're going to be able to attack and defend during the game you will control one character and the other four will be controlled by the bot you can switch out to any character whenever you want throughout the game you also have tps and fps options which is third person shooter and first person shooter if you didn't know what that meant they have a brand new mode the 2v2 which is you're able to boost the fun you now have the chance to build a team with one of your friends or a random partner and play against two other players you choose three characters from a deck of six while your partner will get the other three and you can get free rewards in the app only thanks to the link in the description below you get one x1 golden chest 500 coins and 50 diamonds worth six dollars you could also check out the pinned comment below and thank you to frag pro shooter for sponsoring today's video all right so let's get into this challenge i hope today is the day we can complete it we have luka Doncic, who's 21 years old and this challenge can go 13 seasons so we will be 34 so we should have him throughout the whole video and oh my god he was so good he better lead me to a championship in this video so if you don't know the bill russell challenge we have to win eight championships in a row like bill russell did and 11 championships in 13 years it's insane stuff the most i've ever won in a row was seven so we're gonna try to win eight today so here's the team obviously you guys know the dallas mavericks we're gonna be building around luka and kp and we have kind of cap space until luka is gonna get that max contract extension in the 2022 off season so we have some time till then and yeah, we're going to make some trades and we're going to try to win it all next year, right? We don't have our 2021 or 2023 first round picks. They're going to go to the Knicks, but we will have our 2020 first. It's going to be pick 25. You know me. I'm going to try to trade up. Rick Carlisle, I never have good luck with him in 2K. I don't know why. Pop is here. D'Antoni is really good. I have good luck with D'Antoni. So you know what? I'm going to pick up D'Antoni. Let's do that. So we get all four of those guys. Sweet. Actually, I'm going to fire Darrell Armstrong Armstrong as well. I want like the best coaching staff I could get just because we got to win eight championships in a row. We need the best coaching staff, the best players, the best system that we can get. So let's go to the draft. 2020 draft. I still want to draft. Maybe uh, I want to draft a guy that can be a big part of this team. So if I were to throw up 43 and 25 and I definitely have players. Oh boy, we have players. Uh, let's see. I would throw in Maxi Kleba in a trade. Three stars depending on who he goes to. I'm trying to get in the top 10. Boston has seven from Memphis. They would want my second in 2024. And you'll give me Romeo Langford. Hell yeah, we just got the seventh pick from the Celtics. So I don't like, obviously getting Giannis in 2021 would be fantastic, but I don't know if that's going to be the guy. So maybe we're going to get that guy this off season that we could pair around Luca. We'll see though. But we had the seventh pick in the 2020 draft. I'll see you guys with who we take. All right, so with the seventh pick, I did take Devin Vassell, who develops pretty well in this draft class. I was thinking him or RJ Hampton or a Kongwu, but I ended up going Vassell. So uh, we'll sign him, obviously. Hardaway Jr. opts in, Stein opts out. I wonder, okay, so obviously getting AD would be huge. Uh, we can't afford AD unless we move like Tim Hardaway Jr., who I've been willing, like, open to move. Like, I, I don't know. I don't want to hurt this team too much because I want to win it all next year. So I think I might do something like this, like get Clint Capella and then move KP to the power forward position. We could get Buddy Heald. Mitch Robb, okay. Mitch Robb is also probably going to put up similar numbers to Clint Capella, but he's making a decent amount less. So that could be an option. All right, you know what? We'll pick up Mitchell Robinson for Tim Hardaway Jr. It's going to clear up some cap unless... Yeah, we'll do that. And then, um, or we, wait, let me do Tim Hardaway Jr. Can we do it straight up? Can we maybe get our first back next year? Probably not. Uh, they would want my 2022 first. Yeah, I think, yeah, we'll do that. We'll get our first round pick back next year and we'll give up our 2022 first. Unless I could throw in a player, but I don't know if I had anyone that would want to throw in Boban. Oh, and I'll give you Justin Jackson. Okay, two guys that I didn't really 
have plans for. So, would you give me my 2023 back as well? Probably not, but I'm going to try it. Okay, fine. We'll give up two seconds. But we get our first round pick back next year. I'll take it. I'm going to also offer Anthony Davis a contract because, uh, yeah, why not? I'm not going to give him a no trade clause. We have Jalen Brunson. We have so many shooting guards. Uh, if I move Vassell to small forward, does he go up? He does. Sweet. I'm also going to change Kristaps from a center to a power forward. Now, I wouldn't mind to sign like a small forward or a point guard in free agency. It's not great, but I, I don't mind signing a point guard because we have cap space and I could trade them on draft night next year. So Fred Van Vliet, Goran Dragic is... Mm, damn, uh, if he was like two years younger, I'd be open to doing that. Okay, you know what? I'm going to try to pick up Bogdan Bogdanovich and Jordan Clarkson and then trading them. Or DeRozan, uh, and then trading them for a point guard. So we don't get Anthony Davis. Wow, okay. So I'm going to renounce the rights on everybody, but yeah, bringing in uh, Bogdan. So AD goes to the Lakers, DeRozan back to the Spurs. And I'm also going to try to sign Jordan Clarkson as well, and then we could trade one of them. So we get Bogdan and Clarkson, and I could trade them on draft night next year as well. So I'd like to trade. Let's see. I'll move Bogdan here. Could I get a point guard? Rudy Gobert? That's pretty nice, but he's an unrestricted free agent next year. All right, if there's some way that I could trade Bogdan for DeJounte Murray, that would be kind of sweet. I don't, we just don't have many picks, so I don't want to give up picks. I will throw in Romeo Langford. I'll throw in DeLon Wright. I'll, I'll throw in DeLon Wright if it gets it done. Uh, does it get it done? It does. Okay, so I think that's pretty huge. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five. Langford's going to be in the G League. Six, seven, eight, nine. I think this team behind Luka can win it all next year. I think it has a shot. So Luka's a 98 overall. Chris Ops a 90. I think, yeah. And DeJounte Murray is going to be really good. Like, we have really good defense on this team. We have really good offense. I think there's a chance this team can pull off a finals victory next year. We're going to send Devin Vassell to untapped potential. We're also going to send Luka Doncic to perimeter defense. And I'm going to send Chris Stops, Or, yeah, we'll send Chris Stops. No, no, I'm going to send DeJounte Murray to perimeter shooting. All right, so like I said, I'm going to send Romeo Langford to the G League this year. This is going to be the team. It's going to be DeJounte Murray, Seth Curry, Luca, Chris Stops, Mitch Robb with Jordan Clarkson, Jalen Brunson, Devin Vassell, and Dwight Powell off the bench. So if we don't win it this year, we still have two years of cushion. So we have to win it by 2023 and then go on an 11 final streak, which is insane. Four stars, seven seconds or less. Perfect. That's pretty good. Who is holding us down? Uh, it is going to be mainly Mitchell Robinson, that is okay, because he's not going to be our center for the whole video. So we're fifth in NBA.com's preseason power rankings. Let's hope I get the Luka luck on my side. All right, guys, we're killing it in season number one, and I know a lot of people ask me, how does the sim go so fast? I play on PC. It's so much quicker than console. So we are going to end the season with a 70-12 record. Luka gets MVP. Get that Luka luck right away. And yeah, he averaged 0.4 rebounds away from a triple-double MVP season. He's a 99. Anthony Edwards killed it for the Hornets. He's your rookie of the year. Dennis Schroeder, six man of the year. Kawhi Defensive Player of the Year. Zion Most Improved. And D'Antoni, Coach of the Year. All right, so the first of many seasons. Hopefully, this is a championship one. Hopefully, I don't lose in round one. But this time, I'm the Mavericks. So the Mavericks aren't going to screw me over. Oh, my. What? <laughs> Wait, is this my team no that's glitched that's glitched yeah wait what is going on since when did uh, what javante green 25 minutes and oh, i'm so lost bro i'm so lost but he has zero minutes ah uh, what is going on 2k what is going on that makes no sense uh i'm guessing that's a glitch but yeah here were our top two guys and then Car i don't know I, I really don't know what's going on murray was really good he was uh seth hit 43 percent of his threes so you know what let's just ignore that let me just make sure that javante green and tory craig aren't playing for us in the playoffs here uh good uh that's weird I, that's got to be some weird glitch but yeah i think we'll be fine against memphis in round one can we sweep them that would be kind of nice and no, we end up winning in five. But great. Now we got to take on the Clippers in round two. Paul George, Kawhi Leonard. Not the team I want to face. Not at all. Uh, eh, we sweep them. All right. But now we got to take on the Lakers, who are the reigning NBA champions. I mean, they're not great outside of LeBron and AD. Let's see how this goes. Okay. It's two to one. Do not scare me, please. And the sim goes so quick. Oh my God. It's two to two. Just win game five. It's season number one. Okay. Great first half. Let's go up. Okay. We're going to go up three to two. Luca, I love you. KP, I love you. Let's just win this in set or six games and go on to face the Nets. Don't make them force it. Game seven. Come on. And we end up winning. Let's go. What a fourth quarter. So good. But now we got to take on Katie and Kyrie. Damn, we go from Paul George and Kawhi to LeBron and AD to Katie and Kyrie. That is tough. That is tough. So let's see how game one goes. Just don't. Oh my God. We end up losing by 25. 
Oh, come on. Don't lose game two. Don't lose game two. Yes, big win there. Win game three. Just win game three. Yes, let's go. Win game four. Yes, let's go. All right, we have a chance to start this off on a high note. Let's go. We win it in year one. All right, we got to win seven more in a row and 10 in the next 12 years. Luca is obviously going to be your finals MVP. Well, I shouldn't really say obviously because KP wins it sometimes. But yeah, let's go. Uh, we just went through a very hard playoff run right there. I don't think you can... Yeah, I can't go back. But we beat Memphis, okay. But then we beat the Clippers, Lakers, and Nets back to back to back. Arguably the three best duos in the league. So let's go to the lottery. We're going to have the 30th pick in this draft. Correct. Bucks. Oh, I should have traded for Indies first, right? Um, but we are going to be picking at 30. We're going to keep everybody. We'll bring back Jordan Malone. Actually, I don't know if he was our CFL, but we'll sign him anyway. All right. So 2021 draft class. I mean, I do have at, like people i would trade like i could trade quark center dwight powell to move up in this draft i wouldn't mind moving dwight powell and his 11 million dollar contract so dwight powell and 30 uh so let me see because i want to sign somebody pretty big who's got 13 all right who's got 14 uh it will be the uh pelicans would you do powell for that i'll throw in 30 oh my god okay uh what, what's going on here you know what the center i really want on this team bam out of bio so i'm gonna try to get him but I mean, Zubats, no, there's really no point in that. I just wanted to move up draft pick wise. Uh, yeah, there's really nothing like crazy that I want here. Uh, no, nothing at all. So you know what? I'm going to stay at 30. We could draft the center and develop him through the G League because I don't have to move Dwight Powell right now. I could trade him on the day of free agency if we need to clear up some cap. So is there a center here that I could develop? Jordan Brown might be the best guy to be our backup center for the future. All right, we'll do that. So we're going to take Jordan Brown here with the 30th pick out of Arizona. And he's a 70 overall, but he'll be in the G League in year one. So team bar options, we're going to pick up the options on all these guys. All right, sweet. So uh, qualifying offers. Now, I don't need to get, uh, bring these guys back. But free agency, do we have anybody? No. Damn it, Giannis isn't here. Uh, I would only sign Paul George to trade him. I really want Bam. That's the guy I want on this team. So I'm either going to do a sign and trade. So to sign somebody big, I would have to move two out of the three of Powell, Clarkson, and Murray, or Curry. I'm going to move Clarkson and Powell, maybe? All right, so actually, I'm going to pick up a first-round pick, the OKC first-round pick from the Hawks and Clint Capella for these two guys. So, uh, yeah, we don't really lose anybody in the rotation because now we have Mitch Robb and Capella, and then at shooting guard, we have Curry and Romeo Langford. So I don't think we'll have enough for Paul George, unfortunately. Yeah, we're still 14 mil off. So if I could sign somebody down here like a Derrick Rose... Yes, and then I could flip Derrick Rose maybe for Bam Adebayo in picks. So let's offer Derrick Rose a deal. And then if not, we can offer Jonathan Isaac a deal. And hopefully one of them has really good trade value to whoever signs Bam Adebayo. So I'm going to take Isaac. I'm going to think he will have more trade value. So let's pick up Jonathan Isaac. That's kind of huge. And then I'm going to monitor where Bam goes because then I might trade Mitchell Robinson. So our centers would be like Bam and Capella, which would be pretty good. So Bam goes back to the heat. So let's try to trade for Ed Reese. I would be offering Jonathan Isaac and we would acquire two mil so i might have to sign somebody if i have no one to trade yeah i don't really have anyone to trade so let me sign somebody like a tyreek evans and then i can throw in this trade so they accept that now let's go back to this and let's offer up jonathan isaac and then let's also offer up tyreek evans would they accept this they do perfect so now we could trade mitchell robinson because he's going to demand a lot of money next year so i'm cool with my center duo yeah being out of bio and capella okay sweet so i'm going to move mitchell robinson it's gonna be hard because of a salary so if i can get like a i don't know uh miles bridges isn't bad no let me look at the team right real quick all right i want to see if i can move langford or mitchell robinson for fournier and their first round pick next year they would want to swap best i would give you my first in 2020 ah they're not gonna do that okay what about if i threw a protection on your first next year like a top 10 protection they would want us i mean i would get two first round picks for the price of one honestly it's a pretty good investment so, you know what? Let's do this trade right here. So, we pick up Evan Fournier. He's going to be kind of in the Jordan Clarkson role. So, here's the team. Uh, I think we have a chance to go back to the championship next year. Uh, Brown will be in the G League. Yeah, we're going to be fine. So, we should have... Oh, we only have two training camps here. So, I'm going to send... Hmm. Let's send Chris Stops the perimeter shooting. We'll get him, like, really good from there. And can we start getting Bam shooting up? Maybe. So, this is going to be a my best bench yet in this video. Uh, it's going to be a similar starting five to last year. Just replace Mitchell Robinson with Bam Adebayo. So, we definitely got better there. And the bench is going to be really good. Evan Fournier, Clint Capella, Jalen Brunson, and Devin Vassell. System proficiency is now four and a half stars because Bam fits it very well. That's what I'm talking about. Preseason power at We actually dropped to eight. 
all right, I think we can win it all again next year and get this streak going. And we improve from last year's season as we go 74 and 8 here in our second full season. Luca, MVP number two. We'll see how many he wins in this video. Bull Bull, six man of the year. Maybe I should trade for Bull Bull. Maybe I'll move Capello for Bull Bull at one point and D'Antoni coach of the year again. So we're the one seed taking on the Utah Jazz who have Kyle Lowry, okay? Do Kyle Lowry, Donovan Mitchell, Roberson, Ennis, Dedman. All right, but yeah, they don't have Gobert anymore. And they still have Mike Conley. All right, here are the stats for the season. Uh, Luca, amazing stuff. Once again, he was MVP. There's Chris Stops, Bam, Murray, eight assists, five and a half rebounds, and he shot 36 from three. There's Evan Fournier, Devin Vassell. So we had, what, six double-digit scorers? Almost seven with Brunson. Damn. Yeah, this team is good. This team is good. There is no reason we should lose in round one. Honestly, we should sweep, and we do. Okay, good. Taking on the Nuggets, Murray, Terrence Davis. He's never really all that good in 2K yet. Uh, Hart, Randall, Jokic. I wonder if that Randall, Jokic combo. And Bo Bo. Their bigs are nice. Don't lose to them, though. Jesus, don't lose game one. Don't do that to me. Oh, my God. This is just year two. Okay, we're up 2-0, or 2-1, excuse me. Can we go up 3-1? Yes, yes. I must uh, just simulate the round. Okay. Take it on the Lakers here in the conference finals. LeBron is still there. AD. Oh, they ain't enough money to sign. Go. God damn it. Oh, that's scary. I don't like that one bit. Yes. Okay. Just, just go. Okay. 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 3-0. Let's go. We swept them. All right. And now we're taking on the Sixers in the finals. Simmons, Richardson, Harris, Horford, and Embiid. It's another good team. It's another good team. I don't know who I'd rather face. Them or the Nets. Game one. We win. Let's go. Game two. We win. Let's go. If we go up 3-0, then I'll simulate the round. Go up 3-0. Yes. And let's simulate the round. And we sweep the conference finals and the NBA finals. Luca with his second finals MVP. All right. That was a pretty good playoff run. We went 16-1. and Here are the playoff stats if you were curious. Dwight Howard retires. Yeah, we'll have to deal with some retirements in this video. Just hopefully Dan Tony doesn't retire. Uh, Dwight goes to the Hall of Fame. All right. So... Was OKC bad? I didn't realize or I didn't notice if they made the playoffs or not. Please tell me they didn't. Uh, okay. Are we... Okay, 14 Orlando. And... Oh, OKC made the playoffs. Damn, that stinks. Uh, so, yeah, I guess that pick will be out of the lottery. So, we are going to have the... Oh, the Magic of the 14th pick. Oh, it was a swap in favor of them. So, we have 30... The OKC picks at 21. Damn, I was hoping it would be a little bit higher than that. But we have two first round picks. We could definitely incorporate that into a trade. I'm actually curious. I think system proficiency could get to five stars at the end of this video. I'm okay moving on from Seth Curry. Definitely at one point. Uh, I mean, he's 31. So we might start to regress. So if there's somebody we want to draft here, I don't know. Let's see what we can do. So we'll try seven. And that is the New York Knicks. Will they accept this? They will. Okay, so we have the seventh pick in the draft. Thank you, Seth Curry, for what you did for us. We got you two rings, but now we are moving on. Okay, wow. I just made that trade. So I just traded Clint Capella and seven for Buddy Heald and 10. So the reason I did that is because Jordan Brown can put up 15 minutes a night and be our backup center. And it'll be a lot cheaper because Clint Capella is going to be a free agent next year. Buddy Heald can kind of replace Seth Curry. And now I can take a guy at 12 or excuse me, at 10. That doesn't really need to be a star player for us right away or just a big guy in the rotation. Uh, so I actually do want to look at the team real quick. We'll still have one. Brunson will be two, three, four, five, six, seven. Luca will be eight. Yeah, we'll be fine on guys. So let me take best available who Alex Hudson and Kupo or Jabari. No, I'll take Jabari Smith Jr. So he's going to be a 76. He might be in the G League this year. We will see. Picking up the options on Devin Vassell. We'll have some qualifying offers. Wait, no Brunson? We don't have a qualifying offer, but we do have burn rights. Okay, so let's get Brunson a four-year deal, and I'll match whatever Luka gets. So Luka was going to sign with the Suns, and we are going to match that. Yeah, the team that maybe should have drafted him number one overall in the 2018 draft. So we have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think Jabari Smith will be in the G League this year, but another team I think that could win it all and we could three peat. Luca's a 99, Kristaps 92, DeJounte Murray 89, Bam 89. There's Heald, who's basically a lot better. It's an upgrade over Seth Curry. Definitely there's 48 Brunson, Vassell, Smith, and Jordan Brown, who's now up to a 75. That's nice. So yeah, I will be sending Jabari Smith Jr. to the G League this year. He's at Auburn. So here's the rotation. It's DeJounte Murray, Buddy Heald, Luca. I'm actually going to go like this. Yeah. Chris stops, Bam Adebayo, and we'll do this. Fournier, Vassell, Brunson, Brown. Still a really good bench, even though we did move on from Clint Capella. Four and a half stars. System proficiency. This could hit five stars possibly at one point. I'm actually curious. If I make Bam a power forward, does it go up? It might. It might. So honestly, four and a half stars. Bam actually goes down a power forward. Okay. And if I were to move Buddy Heald to a small forward, does he go up? He might. 
Uh, it does not go up. Okay, so never mind. We'll move Buddy Heal back down to a shooting guard. We'll see where our preseason power ranking is. It is at 7. I'm not really going to take that seriously too much because last year we were eight and we won it all so i'll see you guys at the end of season number three all right end of season number three we go 70 and 12 luca wins his third straight mvp bates rookie of the year bobo six man of the year oh he was the guy i wanted to trade for yeah maybe i should trade a Capel for him Giannis if it's a player of the year rj barrett most improved and d'antoni gets his third straight coach of the year i believe Ooh, we gotta take on the lakers in round one who still have lebron 80 and gobert Ugh, that's a tough round one matchup Damn, all right, so we can go to playoff or player stats. Luca won his third trade MVP. Kristaps has been such a good sidekick. There's Bam averaging almost 17 and 11, two and a half assists, one and a half blocks. There's Buddy Heal, do shot 47 from three, 51 from the field. DeJounte Murray, eight and a half assists, two steals. He was great. There's Fournier, Devin Vassell. Brunson, wow, we had eight double digit scores. If we go to team stats, we were by far best in that uh, offensive rating. By far best in defensive rating. Oh my god. If we don't win it all this year, I don't know what to say. The the Mavericks in this game are so OP. I think we're going to get five stars soon. We shouldn't lose round one, correct? Okay, we're up 3-0. Sweet. We sweep them. All right, let's go. Suns is Schmidt is their starting point guard. We should not lose. Just kidding. But they have Aiden and Wiseman. That is a nice front court. And Devin Booker. Let me just make sure. It's a new team, so I just want to make sure we'll be okay. Game one, we do win. Game one, we blow them out. Luke had a triple-double, so I'm pretty confident we'll be fine. And we sweep them. Let's go. But now we got to take on... Jokic and Bobo. Bobo is just insane. How much is he getting paid? 16 mil. I don't know who I would really like him though. Uh, so let me just see how game one goes because I'm scared. Okay, we do win and we blow them out. All right, sweet. So we are currently 9 0 in the playoffs. Make that 10 0. Let's simulate the round and we sweep them. We are 12 0 heading into the NBA Finals. Take it on Giannis though. Eh, white side, I don't know. We'll see how game one goes. Just win this. Okay, good. And we blow them out. Wow, we are just killing it in this season on possibly route to our third championship. I don't want to jinx anything. Uh, but yeah, wow. We just went 16-0. and We just went 16-0. and The Mavericks are OP in the sim. It's insane. So that is now our third straight championship. We need five more. There goes Chris Paul and Melo heading into the Hall of Fame. They retire this year. Paul gets his jersey retired by the Clippers. Melo by the Nuggets. I think the Knicks will retire Melo's jersey. Draft lottery. I believe we have the magic pick in this draft. And okay, it's going to be in the lottery. Can we get lucky with it? That would be sweet now. So we have the 12th pick in the draft. I will take that. The Knicks have our pick, the 2023 pick from the Chris Ops trade at 30. So I am nervous though, because I feel like at one point our luck is going to run out. And like, once you kind of do the same thing each year, you're not going to win at all. So maybe we're going to have to do a coaching change at some point and maybe trade Chris Ops at some point. I'm just saying, I don't think anytime soon, but we're just going to have to keep that in the back of our mind. So this is actually a real 2023 class. Uh, these are real guys. Caleb Houston looks very good. I mean, do we have assets to move up? uh we do i wouldn't mind 48 is 30 jabari smith jr i forgot he's coming alive next year yeah another wing we have a lot of so this is kind of our backup trio and then jordan brown well i guess Devin vassell is now going to be a restricted free agent so we might have to pay him a lot of money but we have picked 12 so you know what i'll just pick that guy and i'll see you guys with who i take so with the 12th pick i ended up taking marcus rice or marquise rice i know it's another small forward i've drafted in the last i guess two drafts with jabari smith jr and Devin vassell but it's just been the best player available. He's supposed to go fifth. So I was like, why not? So, oh, wait. Uh, Where are we at? Mavericks. What happened here? Let's go to Dallas. Um, What did I do? So, yeah, we're going to pick up the options on Vassell and Jordan Brown. So Vassell isn't a restricted free agent just yet. He'll be next year. So do we have any free agents of our own that we're going to have to sign? No? Okay. So looking at our team, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think Rice will be in the G League. Eight. 9 10 okay do we want to trade evan fournier could i get a first round pick for evan fournier as he will be a free agent next year and he's 30 okay i'm gonna try to trade fournier to the thunder who have the rockets pick which is pretty nice because fournier obviously would make a team better but the thunder or we're getting the rockets pick from the thunder so it's not gonna make the rockets any better so would they accept this they do so the rockets were pretty bad this year so i hope that will be a very nice pick next year uh but we'll wait and see on that so looking at our team we have one two three four five six seven eight nine we're ready for next year's season all right like i said i'm gonna send rice to the texas legends and it's gonna be the same starting five as last year vassell brunson jabari smith jr who's a new bench player and jordan brown off the bench system proficiency is four and a half stars i don't know maybe we can hit five stars at one point we'll see and our preseason power ranking is seven still let's go for our fourth straight title another year another great season as we go 71 
and 11. Luka wins his fourth straight MVP. The dude is insane. And obviously, we're going to have to start paying a lot of these guys a lot of money, like DeJounte Murray and Bam Adebayo, like on their second contracts with Luka. So we really have to ace these draft picks. We got to develop through the draft as well. Bull Bull, six man of the year. Giannis, if it's a player of the year. How old is he now? He's 29. Tyrese Maxi most improved. And Antonio gets coach of the year once again. So here were the stats throughout the season. Obviously, Luke and KP have been the number one and number two. Once these guys, like once KP hits like 31, then we'll look to move him. Same with maybe out of bio. Healed is a 31 year old free agent. There is a good chance I let him walk or do a sign and trade and try to pick up a first round pick for him. Uh, there's Devin Vassell as the six man. DeJounte Murray, who I just gave a five year extension to. Jalen Brunson, Jabari Smith Jr. And then there's Jordan Brown. And the Houston Rockets, it will be a lottery pick, but it's not like they were one of the worst teams in the league. So we're taking on Utah in round one. Manny and Mitchell, Alston, Covington, and Capella. All right, William Floyd off the bench. They shouldn't beat us, right? That would just be very embarrassing. All right, we sweep them. We're going for our fourth straight title, I believe. Yeah, now we're going to take on the Nuggets, who kind of scare me, but we sweep them. Seventh seeded Spurs, Schroeder, Green, Daly Jr., Washington, Okonwu. They shouldn't beat me. No way. Mm, they won a game. That scares me. I don't know. When they won a game early, it scares me. Three to one, and we win in five. All right, and we're taking on Orlando. Okay, they got RJ Hampton. Oladipo is back in Orlando. Jonathan Kuminga, who's been a beast in the playoffs. Aaron Gordon, Mitch Robb, Revenge Series. Mo Bamba, a couple 2018 centers from that draft. Uh, let's just see how game one goes. Obviously, it's a new team we haven't played yet. I don't know how they match up against us, so I don't want to just simulate it. And then we end up losing, but we're up 2-0, and we win in five. All right. So, Luka wins his 4th straight finals MVP, his 4th straight MVP, and his 4th straight finals. So, uh, yeah, we're 4-0. Oh. All right, we're halfway there. We are going to have the 11th pick from the Rockets in this draft. Another lottery pick that we could draft and then send in the G League next year. D'Antoni is a free agent. I'm going to bring him back on a three-year deal uh and then i'm gonna bring back like our trainer like i had scout an assistant coach mikey williams is in this draft honestly I, I don't know if i'd be able to get up to number one like if i had healed still under contract i would be able to but i don't want to move any one of these guys unless i move brunson and minnesota has the cap to do so so can we do what is that 12 30 and brunson for one no i would throw in a future hmm. like i said i didn't want to throw give in future draft picks but we might like 2027 20, now, and I'll throw in two seconds. All right, what about a 20, 26 first as well? Okay, we just gave up a lot, but I think I'm going to try to do a sign and trade with Buddy Heald. Bronny James is also in this class, but we ended up going with Mikey Williams. So Devin Vassell, we're going to give the qualifying offer to him. I hope we're good on cap space. Buddy Heald, I'm going to try to do a sign and trade. Like, give him that, and then Devin Vassell will match whatever he gets. So, yeah, we're going to sign Buddy Heald back, yes. But I do want to move on from him um, if the opportunity presents itself. Like, I wouldn't even mind putting Vassell as our starting guard, uh, shooting guard. So, let's give Vassell negative 68 mil. It's a lot. So, let's sign Devin Vassell. So, it looks like the Rockets have some cap space. So, I would send you Buddy Hield for your first round pick in 2027, uh, 2028. And then, do you have a shooting guard I could take over? Uh, obviously, I don't want Harden. Uh, I'll take Ndoye. Oh, you can't do this. And then, who is the other guy you could throw in? How much money? 10 mil uh wait what was the original trade it was god no i don't want to do that all right uh maybe i could use like somebody on a mid-level looks i don't know if the salary is gonna be able to work out damn it all right can i trade buddy healed to the clippers for yes okay would you give me two first round picks for buddy healed come on do this no come on what about just one first round pick for buddy healed okay so we get one of those first backs from that mikey williams trade so right now we have one two three four five six one of these guys like luca will play shooting guard this year we'll move him down to a shooting guard so we'll have one two three four five six seven eight nine let's go and win our fifth straight title all right guys so here's the rotation for next year's season it's gonna be murray Doncic, Vassell, porzingis out of bio with a bench of jabari smith jr mikey williams marcus rice and or marquis rice and jordan brown system proficiencies four and a half stars still Vassell is kind of holding us down, unfortunately. Wow, he is actually all the way down at three stars. So maybe it would be better if we put Jabari Smith there. That wouldn't get me to five, correct? Okay, we're just trying that out. And preseason power ranking. We're number one, finally. Let's go and win our fifth straight title. We topped our best record for the video. We go 77 and five. Luca wins his fifth straight MVP. Dan Tony, fifth straight coach of the year. And our fifth straight one seed. So here were the stats this season. Luca still doing Luca things. He's 26. Chris stops 29. I just gave him a new extension. Same with Luca. Devin Vassell was actually really good this year as a starting small forward. Uh, Bam, really good. He's going to be a free agent. Hopefully, we have enough money to bring him back. Mikey Williams, good first year. I think DeJounte Murray, if we need to clear up money for Bam, 
we're going to trade DeJounte Murray because I think Michael Williams could be that next guy. Uh, there's Jabari Smith. Not bad. Okay. And then Jordan Brown, uh, who might be a free agent this offseason. And then there's Marquise Rice in his rookie season. Nothing much, but same with Jabari Smith last year, and he's definitely improved. So, Nuggets, or excuse me, Grizzlies in round one. We should be fine. Don't make me lose to them. We just went 77 and 5, and we sweep them. All right, Lakers. No way, LeBron. He's still playing. Oh, he wanted to play with his son, Bronny and LeBron. That's funny. They don't. Are right, Gobert's now on the bench? All right. Are, are we gonna be okay against them? Oh my God, we lost game one. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. We've only won. F oh my God, no. We lost by three. Don't do this to me. We're down. This is our first ever down two to one. No, no. Oh my God, I don't want to have to start hopping in games. All right, two to two. Le 80 had 50. Why is this so scary? All right. Don't just win this game at home, please. Oh, my God. Do not go down 3-2. to two. Do not go down 3-2. to two. Come back and win this. No! Oh, I don't want to end the video right now. Please. Don't do this to me. 2K. Okay, good first half. Solid third quarter. Come on. Okay. Okay. Game 7. Game 7 in Dallas. Don't lose this. Don't lose this. Good first quarter. Good second quarter. All right. Alright, they had a scary. We won by 24. Alright. How many is that? Oh no, we won five. Oh uh, no no, that's MVP's shit. Okay. We won four championships. Taking on Denver. They got Ingram now. Couple uh uh former Pelicans there and former Lakers. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh let's see how game one goes, because I'm still kind of scared off of the Lakers series. Okay, there we go. We we win by a lot. Let's go. Trayvon Duval dropped 24. Remember him? Uh, all right, we're up 2-0. There we go. All oh, that Lakers series, man. That was scary. Now we're taking on the Hornets, who have Peyton Pritchard from Oregon. It's pretty good. Uh, Anthony Edwards and Amani Bates win combo is kind of nasty. And they have Vooch. Oh, God. They might beat me. They... I have a bad feeling about this series. Okay, no. We win by two in game one. Yes, we win a close one. Come on, let's win game two. Yes, yes, yes. We win by 14. Come on, let's win game three here. Let's, okay, okay, it's not going to be a sweep, don't let him tie it up, yes, okay, there we go, and let's go and win our fifth title, let's do it, let's go, Luka wins another finals MVP, LeBron finally retires, he's going to the Hall of Fame, same with Steph, whoa, that Clippers pick ended up being number five, let's go, we're going to rinse and repeat the cycle, draft somebody, this is the first auto-generated class, send him to the G League, let's go, and we also have the 30th pick, so we can end up trading something, who knows, let's get a new CFO, let's bring back Jordan Malone. I mean, if we were to move DeJounte Murray, like, is there a strict number one guy in this class? But now the auto-generated classes, they have them as so old. Like, I would want to take Oscar Avoy just because he's 22. But Stephon White looks like he's the best. I mean, if I could trade up for number one, I will. 530 probably won't give me the opportunity to get to number one, unfortunately. Yeah, like, no way, obviously, they're going to accept this. I mean, I would throw in DeJounte Murray. They can't afford it. Can we do DeJounte Murray for one? And I'll do 30 for one. I think so. I think we want to... Yeah, it's gonna su it's gonna suck. He's 2080s he's in his prime though. Are we ready to give the keys to Mikey Williams? I'm gonna risk it. Ugh, Mikey Williams was really good last year. Wait, yeah, in his rookie season. Ugh, what's his perimeter defense grade? It's a B minus. Ah, oh, let's do it anyway. Screw it. Dejounte Murray and a 30 for one. No. Oh, never mind. All right, maybe we'll keep Dejounte Murray around. Okay, never mind. All right, so I'm gonna simulate to my pick at five, and I, I'm guessing that white guy went number one yet yeah, to the Magic. Let's see. Uh, this guy's also a 80, but he's 25, man. I hate auto generated draft classes. How broken is this? Magic, would you counter offer me? And we did this for white. Sometimes it will do it. Uh, trade exception. Oh my god. This game is freaking broken. Hey, I don't care that we ended up with the white guy. Not having to give up DeJounte Murray. So he'll be our shooting guard. He might come off the bench next year. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna... Okay, Bam Ops out. Pick up the options on those guys. Let's hope we have enough to bring him back. Um, so Bam... Oh, he's a hot commodity. Oh, man. Okay, we can afford to bring him back. We're going to give him a four-year deal. Hopefully, he accepts that. Okay, he should. If he doesn't, that will kind of suck. Um, and Jordan Brown, we can match. So we get Bam. That's hype. Uh, we'll reannounce the rights on everybody else. Yeah, like, we're going to eventually have to move DeJounte Murray at one point. Like, when he hits, like, 31. Or same with Chris Stops. And go in a different direction. So Bam, we're going to get... I'll match whatever Jordan Brown gets. Now I'm kind of tempted, like, White could start, mm, like, we could have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Do I trade? I mean, Jabari Smith Jr. is going to be a free agent, what, next year? Maybe we'll trade Jabari Smith Jr. for, like, 
a couple first if we can. Would Utah give me two first round picks for Jabari Smith Jr.? He's going to be really good, but he's 24. He's going to be a restricted free agent next year. And they agree to that. Okay, so we load up on draft capital there. I will take it. They've been bad throughout the year. So I'm going to also offer Jordan Brown a four-year, a five-year extension. He'll be our backup center for the foreseeable future as he is still 25 years old and he signs that. All right, Bams in 95. This is the team going into our sixth season. Because looking at the future, it might be Mikey Williams and Stephen White or Stefan White kind of trying to bring us championships at the end of this video. Knock on wood, if we're still alive come like the 10th season. So here's the team, Murray, Luca. Vassell, I'm actually going to Vassell 30, there we go, and then there's the bench, Williams, White, Rice, and Brown, it's fairly young, Williams 22, White 22, system proficiency, four and a half stars, uh, like if I put Mikey there and Luca there, can we get to five, maybe, no, we can't, okay, whatever, and then preseason power ranking is number two, Warriors are number one, Clay is still in the NBA, okay, and he was drafted two years later than Curry, I got it, so yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the year, and let's hope we can win our sixth straight title. Another year, another 70 plus win season as we go 74 and 8. Luca, his sixth straight MVP award. That's kind of crazy. Chet Holmgren, he's a beast. He was from the Imani Bates class. Uh, there's Giannis still winning Defensive Player of the Year. Dan Tony, another coach of the year. If we want to check out the player stats here, they are Luca and KP at the top. Luca, is that a bit of regression? I hope not. It better not be. Um, just dropping in points, but he still won MVP. There's Devin Vassell killing it as usual, still very efficient. There's Mikey Williams. Uh, he's per 36. Yeah, he would have been really good. Bam. White is a rookie. Yeah, he was amazing. He's the future of this team. Maybe I should have traded Rice over Jabari Smith. I don't know. There's a chance we could trade him in this offseason. We'll see. He hasn't panned out too much. So we're taking on Sacramento in round one, who have Bronny, who did win rookie of the year over Mikey Williams. They have SGA, Vince Edwards, Blake, Bagley. Okay, it's interesting. It's a new team, so I'm just going to kind of simulate the game. Okay, and we win. Are we going to go up 2-0? If we go up 2-0, then I'll simulate the round. Okay, just don't lose one. All right, we sweep them. Sweet. Now we're taking on Memphis, who we've beaten plenty of times. Ja, Tyrese Maxey, MPJ, Clark Zeller. I don't know. I feel like Porter Jr. is really good in this game. Same with Clark. Same with Maxey. Same with Morant. So I'm kind of scared. Let's see how game one goes. Okay, we win. Let's go. I'm getting so scared throughout these guys. Hmm, I don't like losing. I don't like getting blown out either. All right, if we lose this game, we are adjusting the rotation. Okay, we win. Um, win game four. No! All right, game five. Oh, my God. We're at home. Don't lose this game. Great second quarter. Great third quarter. Let's go. We end up winning by three. We almost blew it. I don't care. I don't care. Chris stops. are you falling off 30? I'm not going to say it. We might have to think about, you know what? Let's get through this season first, Matt. Okay, good first quarter. Good second quarter. Let's go. We're going back to the conference finals. We blow them out. Chris stops. Yes. Taking on the Lakers without LeBron, but they have Zyra Wade, who hasn't been anything like insane. They have ADs really carrying them. How's Kyra Lewis doing? He's averaging 11 and a half assists in the playoffs, damn. Um, all right, let's see how game one goes. I'm scared. I don't know. Lakers almost beat me last year, but they did have LeBron or two years ago. Or no, last year, I think. All right, we're going to sweep them. Let's go. All right, taking on the Hornets again. I don't like facing teams twice. I feel like you don't usually win all the time. So let's see how game one goes. Game one, yes, yes, we won by 16. Woo, okay. Game two, yes. All right, game three, let's, 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 let's do the sweep. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. We win in five. Let's go. Luca with another finals MVP. Utah's pick for uh, Jabari Smith Jr. It's going to be in the top 10. Can we get lucky with it? No, we cannot. We actually dropped to nine. Oh, two teams below us uh, went up. But yeah, Minnesota has our pick at 30. That was from the Mikey Williams trade. But we still have another top 10 pick. Uh, we're good with our staff. See, like, oh, look how old these guys are. It's kind of ridiculous. Like, I might go for Art Red just because he's 22. Hopefully, he's there at nine. I mean, let me look at the salary cap table. Anyone a free agent? No. Besides, no. No one's a free agent. So, I don't really need to make any moves now. Uh, I mean, if we're looking at Kristaps... Nothing. Okay. DeJounte Murray. Zach Levine's 31. Sexton is two years younger. And he's been averaging 30. But uh, I don't think that's a smart move. Brandon Clark's 29. Peyton Pritchard's 28. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, guys. At this point, I don't know. Bull Bull's 26. That would be kind of nice. But then we wouldn't. We would go for our first season without a backup point guard. I'm going to keep Murray around. Let's just make our pick at nine. But I'm just saying maybe down the line, Bull Bull like, could replace some some of the guys on the team. So I'm going to take Art Red just because he's 22 years old. And he's actually 78. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, the guy who went number one is also 78. So that was a great pick by us. We're going to have no free agents, which is good. I'm going to send Art Red to the G League this year. Maybe I should have traded. Actually, could I trade Rice 
for like a first round pick or two since he is a free agent at the end of this year all right now we'll just send art red to the g league this year yeah and then we'll figure out the rotation so it is going to be pretty much the same as it's always been 14 to brown we'll go 18 to rice 25 27 there we'll go 31 to bam 32 to kp uh 29 of a 35 to luca and then 29 to murray system proficiency is still four and a half stars like it's always been uh preseason power ranking is number one let's go and try to win our seventh straight title another year another 70 plus win season we go 71 and 11 another mvp for luka Doncic. how many is that in a row for him it's his sixth straight mvp is that a seventh Maybe a seventh. Uh, I don't know though, but maybe it doesn't tally that onto. The, I don't know. Wait, what is this? The 2027 NBA Awards. Does it say he's won that? Uh, I'm not sure. So if we go to awards here, yeah. So I guess he didn't win one in 2021. So I'm tripping there. My bad. Yeah, maybe he did. Maybe Giannis won it. I don't know. Uh, but Mike D'Antoni, another coach of the year, another one seed for us. Here were the stats. Mm, okay. I don't know. I, I'm trading Dejounte Murray in this offseason because he will be a free agent next offseason. And he's 30. I might as well get something for him and then give the uh, the starting point guard role to Mikey Williams, who could have been better than him this year anyway. And then, yeah, I like Stephen White. And then maybe we'll move White as like the full-time six man, something like that. So take it on OKC in round one. Kobe White, DiVincenzo, 290s, Isaac, 89, Hashimura, 88. There's a lot of 90s now. So it's not kind of crazy to see a lot of 90s on a team. But like I've done the past couple years, it's a new team. So let me just kind of do this game by game all right we're up 2-0 once we go up 3-0 we'll be good okay and then once we make the round and we sweep them all right take it on the Pels who I believe oh they did resign Zion I thought he was going to uh Minnesota they're not that good outside of uh, like Zion like elite talent so I think we're okay um let's just it's Zion I don't know 2k does like Zion as much as they like Luca and <sighs> okay 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 um don't don't if I go down 2-0 I'm gonna actually piss myself Okay, good. Okay, oh, we bought him out here. White drops 32 in 22 minutes. Love that. Uh, can we go up? Let's go. Okay, maybe that game one was a fluke. Can we go up three to one? Yes. Don't. Okay, we went in five. All right. Murray, Whitehead, Zaire Williams, Randall, Jokic, Bobo, who's 27, might trade for Bobo in this offseason. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of scared. Uh, this is for our seventh straight championship if we are able to win it all this year. And we're up 2 0. Can we go up 3 0 on Denver? Yes, and let's sweep them. Okay, 16 or 12 and 1 right now. Magic, Hampton, Holiday, Kuminga, Jaron Jackson Jr., Mitchell Robinson. It's a good team. It's a good team. Let's we've met them before in the finals. Can we get our seventh straight title? Oh my god, we're up 2-0. Okay. Um I'm I'm getting nervous. Okay. All right. We win in five. Guys, next year's our eighth title. That's it for winning it in a row. Oh, next year is such a big year. Damian Lord heading into the Hall of Fame. So now I'm kind of like and he doesn't get his jersey retired by the Trailblazers. Like, do I want to trade DeJounte Murray? Because next year would be like, we're going for our eighth straight title. Then we're done with winning in a row. Then we have a two-year cushion. So we technically, I believe, have, uh, this is going to be our eighth year. So we have five years left to win three championships. And we have to win it next year. Okay. Uh, so we don't have any lottery picks for the first time in a minute. Uh, we are going to have, let's see, the Utah pick at 23 minnesota has our pick at 30 okay didn't i also trade for a first no i didn't all right um 23 okay uh so d'antoni did he retire did he retire damn he retired okay so we're gonna have to get a new coach now is not the year to get a new coach Matt. uh i'm gonna go for steve kerr hopefully he signs with us if not and then i might go like change him to seven seconds or less i don't know so looking at these prospects uh okay gary elliott shooting guard 21 years old or even this guy, but he's two years overseas. Okay, now Tower White is the guy I want in this draft. If I were to trade up, I'm moving to Jonte Murray in his $37 million contract. Who's got cap two? And Joe Knox, who was the number one pick last year? That's too good of an offer for the future. That's oh, Jalen Green. Oh my God, that's nice. But that's too good of an offer to like helping out the future. Do I have to give up? I'll give up the 23rd pick and this pick. You want two seconds? And you'll give me a first? Let's do that. Honestly, do I go... I might go Tyler White with that pick, regardless. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So White is a 79 overall, and he's actually this tied for the second highest rated player in this draft, but he's also 21, which is lovely. So we're going to obviously sign him, bring back Mikey Williams and Stefan White. All right, who do we have that's a free agent? I know, yeah, Marcus Rice. I'm going to trade him if we sign him, I think, uh, because we have Art Red playing next year. Okay, so looking at our team, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll let Joe Knox play six, seven, eight. 9, 10. 
White will be in the G League. So yeah, if I sign Rice, I'm just going to trade him. So he's restricted. So I have to wait till after moratorium. Will the Suns give me two first round picks for Marquise Rice? They will. Okay, that is beautiful. So I, I ended up signing him and then trading him. So we have our nine guys next year. One, two, three, four, five, uh, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah, Tyler White will Tyler White will be playing for us next year. Oh, wait, one, two, three. No, no, no. He'll be in the G League. All right, guys. Here's the team: Mikey Williams, Luka Doncic, Devin Vassell, Chris Stops, and Bam Adebayo. Stephon White, Art Red, Joe Knox, and Jordan Brown off the bench. System proficiency. These five stars. Yes, five star balanced. Okay, we're going balanced. Maybe it would have been five star this whole time if I went to balanced. All right. Ooh, that is huge. All right, let's go. Uh, this is, guys, this is such a big year. Number one. All right, let's go. Tyler White will be in the G League. All right. Uh, let me just look at the league history. Yeah, seven titles, guys. This is. This is the biggest year of the video right here. At the end of the 2028 regular season, we go 73 and 9. Luca wins another MVP. Steve Kerr gets coach of the year. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Okay. We're the one seed once again, guys. This is the biggest season of the video. So Mikey Williams stepped in nice. All right. Uh okay. Kristaps might. I don't know. I'm not talking about anything about the future, but right now. Okay, Brown, Joe Knox, damn. He was a number one overall pick. Eh, he was still pretty good. He just didn't, I guess, play a lot. Uh, how was White this year? He was pretty good. Okay. Um, if we do check out the, t I don't care. Okay. Let's just go into here. Okay. See, Dior Johnson. Oh my God. Okay. He was really good. Anthony Edwards, really good. Isaac Scalab is here. Okay. Let's just do this. I'm, I'm so scared guys, guys. Okay. We win game one. Let's go. One by 18. I'm like very quiet. I'm like very quiet for this. Okay. We're up 2-0. Let's just go up 3-0. Okay. Sweet. Sweet. Let's do this. Okay. To get on the Kings, Bronny, SGA, Culver, uh, Jackie Jackson, Marvin Bagley, BJ Boston. It's a good team. It's a very good team. It's a very good team. All right. Um, game one. Yes. Good job. Game two. Yes. Better job. Game three. No. Not a good job. Oh, we lost by one. Okay. It's only one point. Game four. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm not taking any chances. I'm not simulating the round. Yes. Okay. We're in the conference finals. Beautiful. Take it on the Pels. Collier, uh, Naw, Reddish, Zion, Giles. Okay. Uh, I don't care. Let's just get into this. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Game one, we win. Okay, nice, nice. Game two, we win. Okay, very nice, very nice. All right, game three, we win. We're in the finals. Let's go. Taking on the Knicks. Haven't played them yet. Fultz, Mitchell, Wagner, Top, and Turner. It's a very good starting five. Allen, Hardy, Pierce. I'm scared. I'm very scared. I'm very scared. I'm very scared. Okay, uh, game one. No. We lost by... Oh, we got blown out. Uh... Um, Jordan Brown, 12. Nah, Knox is on fire. I want to give Luca 37. Uh, we'll do something like that. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, game two in Dallas. Let's just win this game. Good first half. Okay. There we go. We get our win back. We we kill them. We win by 56 points. I think that was 56. Okay, game three. I'm, I'm sim casting every game here. Um, I'm not going down two to one. Damn it, we're down two to one. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Good first half. Don't blow this. Okay. Two to two. We need to win game five here. This is the biggest game of the video right here at home. What is with us not showing up at home? Oh my God, we're down three to two. I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh my God, oh my God, no, no, no. You gotta be, f I thought I had it. <laughs> one more, one more series. Why couldn't you do this to me next year? Whatever. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to complete this. I'm going to complete this one day.